In this video, we're going to solve the following maths Olympiad problem. Let n be an integer greater than six. Prove that if n minus one and n plus one are both prime, then n squared times n squared plus 16 is divisible by 720. So as we're looking to show that 720 is a factor, let's start by finding other factors. Firstly, if n minus one and n plus one are both prime, and n is larger than six, as we've been told, then n minus one and n plus one must both be odd, because once you get past six, the only primes are odd. Which means that n itself must be an even number, so we can write it as two m, where m is an integer. Substituting this into our expression, we have two m all squared times by two m all squared plus 16, which becomes four m squared times four m squared plus 16, we can factorise out the four from those brackets to give 16m squared times m squared plus four. Hence our n squared, n squared plus 16 must be a multiple of 16. We also know that if we've got three numbers in succession, n minus one, n and n plus one, at least one of them has to be a multiple of three. Well, n minus one and n plus one are prime and larger than three. So therefore it must be n that is a multiple of three. So we can write this as three k, n where k is an integer. And substituting this in to our n squared, n squared plus 16, we get three k all squared times three k all squared plus 16. Squaring our brackets gives us nine k squared times nine k squared plus 16, which is divisible by nine because we've got the nine at the beginning there. Now, similar to the three times table, we know that one of five consecutive numbers must be a multiple of five. So if we've got n minus two, n minus one, n, n plus one and n plus two, one of them has to be a multiple of five. Again, we know because n minus one and n plus one are prime, they can't be the multiples of five. So it must be either n minus two, n or n plus two. Let's take the case of n being the multiple of five. If that's the case, then obviously n squared would be a multiple of five, and so our whole expression would be a multiple of five. The other case is if the multiple of five is either n minus two or n plus two. Well, if we multiply them together, n minus two times n plus two, because one of them is a multiple of five, multiplying them together will give a multiple of five, but those brackets simplify to n squared minus four. So we've just shown that n squared minus four would be a multiple of five, but the expression we're looking at, we can rewrite that n squared plus 16 as n squared times n squared minus four plus 20. Well, if n squared minus four is a multiple of five, adding 20 to it will keep it a multiple of five. So the full expression is also a multiple of five. So we've just shown that regardless of whether the multiple of five is the n, the n minus two or the n plus two, this would make the whole expression a multiple of five. So we've just shown that n squared, n squared plus 16 is a multiple of five, nine and 16. Those three numbers are co-prime, so we don't share any factors other than one. Because that's the case, our expression must be a multiple of them times together. Five times nine times 16 is 720. So our expression is a multiple of 720. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.